the Federal Treasurer has described the latest inflation figures out of the United States as very troubling. Jim Chalmers is visiting Washington as the global economic outlook continues to deteriorate. Here's North America correspondent Jade McMillan. Inflation in the United States has risen by more than economists had been expecting, with the consumer price index increasing by 8.2% on the 12 months to September, and core inflation, a measure that excludes the more volatile categories of food and energy, hitting a 40-year high. That has reinforced expectations that there will be another significant interest rate hike from the Federal Reserve next month. Uh, it's also put more pressure pressure on the US President Joe Biden and the Democrats more broadly just weeks out from the midterm elections. The Australian Treasurer Jim Chalmers uh, is in Washington DC for a series of meetings with senior economic figures including the US Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen and he has continued to paint uh, a very bleak picture of the global economic outlook. He has argued that uh, the main message that is coming through to him in these meetings is that pressures on the global economy are intensifying. This of course coming as he tries to lay the groundwork for the budget that he will deliver in a couple of weeks time, one that he has warned will not be flashy or fancy. But the Treasurer did point to those US inflation figures, describing them as very troubling. The number one enemy when it comes to the global economy is inflation. We've seen some very troubling uh, outcomes for inflation in the United States released this morning, uh, the highest core inflation in something like 40 years. So the Americans, like all of us around the world, are very focused on, very concerned uh, about the high levels of inflation which are, is persisting in our economies. Uh, it's this high level of inflation which is inviting uh, that blunt and brutal response from central banks uh, right around the world. The Treasurer says Australia's inflation forecasts will be updated in the budget that he hands down later this month. He says the government still expects inflation to peak towards the end of this year, but has suggested that the forecasts beyond that will shift, uh, he says, because of rising electricity prices.